have a case for the important psychological low of this market came in early May. And that that was the point at which, if you look at like the CNN fear and greed, it got down to, I think, a number of seven. It has not, even though the market's lower now, it has not gotten to that level. If you look at the new high, new low data, that period where it hit seven was uh, the internal low on the new high, new low data. And uh, we're higher now. So is that constitute a green shoot? Mm, possibly, but I do think that we need to get in the new quarter and see whether or not the market can create something akin to a, a cause that could produce a potential rally. And something like we saw from mid-March back to uh, uh, February, that was a cause. And that cause produced a rally with a an upthrust and a climax that was part of a redistribution for the next leg down. So I, if we are going to get another move up that's meaningful, it's likely to have to be preceded by a cause which may be complete by the middle of July. So I guess that's sort of a summary of what, what I'm thinking uh, right now, Ramon. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, uh, so let me just add to that. Uh, so we've talked about this. Uh, this looks like a climactic volume signature coming after the previous stop in action. Uh, we've talked about, like I call this, like a mini black swan capitulation event behind the unexpected CPI. Uh, and um, what's happening here, as Bruce has said, we are in the oversold condition. Uh, uh, we are seeing shortening of the thrust on the last attempt to go down. We're seeing diminishing supply. Uh, and today's attempt to uh, resume that move to the downside, uh, even lower supply. So that's what we're working with right now. 